Creating design view representations. A design view representation is really a user defined view of an assembly. So we're going to use this to generate a presentation or any particular view of our assembly. So uh, we need to uh, basically define what view we want with all our zooming and uh, viewing characteristics. So I'm just going to position this thing so for a worm's eye view. Let's say I'm going to pick it like this to have a nice worm's eye view. Now that I got it all set up, I could use my steering wheels, pan, zooms, uh, all those types of things. Once I have it set up, I'm going to come over here to my representation. Uh, I'm going to go over my browser bar, go to representation, and I'm going to right click on this thing and say expand all children. And when I do that, I want to come over and find my view default uh, mode right here, my view default. I'm going to right click on it and say new. And it creates a new view down here called view one. And I can right click on this thing and um, I can actually. I just, I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to say Worm's Eye, just so it's easy to Worm's Eye view, the, the view what that is. And so I just renamed it. Now, I can also go into this thing and I can lock it. So now, if I want to come around and let's say pick a new view, um, I, I come along and I can pick a new view and I come over here and I can say, all right, let's activate this view. It brings it right to that view. And this view is locked down. I can't change this. Of course, I could unlock it uh, by picking on it. And I can come over and say unlock. So I can then make changes to this view if needed. Now, I can also take a look at, um, so I can look at, the representations dialog box. So I go up to representations, I'm going to right click and say representation. It brings up the representation dialog box and it gives me the name here of what this view is and it gives me a positional representation. Now positional representations are when we can show different um, component positions. We're going to learn about this in upcoming videos. I can also set my level of detail for the representation. And in here I have some various choices. I can suppress all of my components. I can suppress all of my parts. Or I could suppress all of my content center. Uh, I could suppress all those content center items. And the reason we want to do this is that we can then require less memory for our assembly. So we can essentially create any kind of representation of how we want to see our assembly. Uh, and we can make as many of these as we like. And we're going to use these representations then for drawing views or generate presentations, etc. cetera. So, uh, so this is creating design view representations.